What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, came on to the game after work, popped some packs, and popped three packs. My third pack. Look who we got here, Mr. Christian Yelich. And this is a great way to start off the video, guys. As per usual, drop 10k in the comments. Uh, like the video so if you are new for a chance of winning 10k. Get the video to 70 likes, we'll give away 10k. This video is going to be nice. A lot of people have been asking me this. How do I make stubs if I have no stubs? What do I do if I, like, what do I do to make stubs? I have no stubs. How can I get some stubs? We're going to get into it. But guys, look at this pool, bro. We just got Yelich. I'm ex super excited. A little animation. But yeah, that's an awesome way to start off the video with a quick diamond. So yeah, we just pulled Yelich. And okay, guys, so people have been asking me. Your boy, how the hell do I get stubs if I have absolutely no stubs? And I say, go look at my older videos, whatever, but whatever. I'll make a new one. I'll make a new and improved way to make stubs if you have zero stubs. Okay, so first of all, you can never have zero stubs. It's just unrealistic if you have zero subs. So what I recommend you to do is try to get at least a thousand stubs. You could literally get a thousand stubs so easily. Just go quick sell a goal. Go get rid of one of your, one of your players. Everyone should have at least a thousand stubs on their account, correct? At this stage of the game, go play a ranked seasons game. You get a thousand stubs. So, okay. So this is what I would recommend you do. <coughs> so I have zero stubs, right? I'm gonna go over to the bronzes, bro. This is what I did when I first started the game. All this, what all I would do was just simply flip bronzes for hours. Then I would move on to silvers for hours. Then golds for hours. And then after all that time. When you get more stubs, I recommend going to diamond players like these. The rookie cards that when the game first dropped. Like all these cards, they have bigger price gaps. You can make a ton of stubs off these. This is how I made most of my stubs in the beginning of the game. For instance, you'll make like a thousand here after reduction. Like uh, a thousand. Oh no, it's not going. There's a lot of them. You'll make a thousand something after over here after reduction. A lot of these have good price gaps. So, that's when you get a little more stubs. 10k stubs isn't a lot, but... So, to get up to 10k stubs... This is my method. To be honest, this method's pretty good. So, what I would do is I would go over to bronzes. I would look for the biggest price gap. I think everybody knows this, but... A lot of these cards, these rookie, veteran cards... All these cards have good price gaps for bronzes and they're not expensive, but... For instance, so let's go. Yosmir Pettit, I think that's how you say his name. So his price guy is pretty decent. Make a solid 70 stubs off him. You want to go for a guy where you can make like 100 stubs off. Let's see. Perfect. Right here. Hernan Perez and J Jacob Junis. So this is what I would do. Let's say you have 1,000 stubs. I would put 10 buy orders, 5 on here, 5 on here. I would go play a Conquest game. And if you don't play Conquest, I'll show you. This is what I would do. I'll go to Conquest, and I would just simply just go over here, or whatever Conquest you want to do. Go play a Conquest game, come out, see what you got. Flip the cards. After the Conquest game, you should have a little more stubs. Do it again. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. It will add up. After you keep doing that, bro, move on to Silvers. I'll move on to bigger Silvers, like Tucker Bernhardt, some Paddocks, 78 overalls. 77 overalls all the big boy silvers are going for like a k they have big boy price gaps so what you want to do is you want to start off with the bronzes try to get your stubs to i would say about 5k so let's say in about an hour you should make at least 5k off bro uh, in about an hour with conquest and everything you should be able to make at least like like i would say two to five k stubs off bronzes but once you get past that hard stage, I would say the hardest stage is the bronze stage when you have no stubs. So get past the bronze stage. Try to get past that. Get a, get together 5K, 10K, whatever. Start making your way towards silvers and gold. So for instance, this guy right here, perfect example. You'll make over 100 stubs off each card. And honestly, silver sell a lot faster. So... Right now, this is a very, very good option. This one's good, Seagull. You make over 100 stubs on that. <coughs> Silvers have the biggest price gaps for stubs. So, also, another one right here, Tops card. So, what I recommend you do is go buy some bronzes. 
Go buy as many. If you have some in your collection, sell them. Sell some dupes. And also, so yeah. So you want to do bronzes, then you want to go play some conquest games, flip those, work your way up to silver and gold and diamond. And also, another way to make mad stubs, and a lot of people don't realize this, all you have to do, bro, is literally go in your con collection, bro, and just, yo, I have so many duplicates. If you guys play the game a lot, you will have a ton of duplicates, especially with all the free packs you get in this game. If you finish conquest, you should have a bunch of duplicates for, from those 10 packs. So... For instance, yo, look, ready? I have seven Mancinis. Some of them are bought. Most of them are pulled. We got two of these guys. So, let's see. So, everybody has duplicates. Believe me, if you have, like, 50 duplicates for 100 stubs, it adds up big time, bro. Think about it. That's 5K stubs off duplicates. And is it common? I think it's pretty common. I have six of these dudes right here. 80 stubs. 80 times 6. 8 times 6. 42. I'm pretty sure that's way off, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's, that's correct math. No, yeah, it, it definitely is correct math. So, yeah. Why do, why do I feel like that's not correct? That's way off. I'm sorry, it is 48. Like, what am I doing, bro? <laughs> so, yeah, it's 48. I don't know what I'm thinking, but, bro. We got five of these, bro. I'm telling you, just sell a bunch of freaking duplicates, bro. It will add up. Sell some of your golds that you're not using, and you will make a ton of stubs this way. This is what I did in the beginning of the game, but now I'm extremely loaded. But I did buy stubs. I'm not going to lie to you. I did buy some stubs. So, honestly, guys, what would you do? What cards? I'm going to show you some cards on who to pick up. Let's see. We got silver, so... Brian Anderson's a good one. Tanner Rock's really good one. You'll make 200-something stubs off him right now. If you can find a silver with 300 price cap, I highly recommend. Like, let's see. We got... This guy's pretty good. Tops cards could move fast for some collections, so that's not bad. Um, if you guys had Shane Bieber when he was bronze, you can make a crap ton of stubs off him. Mike Miner's not bad. Over a, You'll make 100 stubs off him. We got Cody Allen, Shane Green, Cold Schmidt's not a bad one, Dozier's not a bad one. So as you can see, honestly, bro, if you have a thousand stubs, I would just go straight ahead to silver, bro. You'll make more stubs off silver right now. Silvers have the biggest price gap and they move really fast. So yeah, silvers are pretty good. We got golds over here. Oh, uh, let's see. We got golds. Honestly, bro, I would stay away from the golds. Unless we're talking... Let's see Okuna's price. Oh, my Alomar just sold. Let's go, baby. Made a ton of stubs. Let's see. Where's Okuna? Okay. Okuna's not a good option, bro. So, actually, a lot of these guys... Like, right here is a decent one. Uh, no, never mind. 100 stubs. This one's not bad. You'll lose about... You'll make about 200 stubs. So... A lot of these rookie cards are good. They're pretty decent price caps. So these are the golds I'll go for, these rookie cards. But they sell a lot, a lot slower. So I would definitely stick to the silvers. Keep grinding conquests. Sell your duplicates. And that's really all I could tell you. Let me just think. Uh, what other cards can I show you? All right, we got Scooter Jeanette. He's at 900 stubs. Another good option. We got... Let's see. Velar's a good one. That's a little more expensive, but that's a good one too. Pedro Stra. There's a lot of good ones, man. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. To be honest, if you have no stubs, this literally is the best method: flipping silvers and playing games. So, this I'm gonna recap it. So, this is what you want to do: pick up as many silvers and bronzes as you can until you're broke. Go into a conquest game, event game, rank seasons. I don't care. I recommend conquest because it's fast. You get more rewards in that. Or events, that's fine too. Three in the games, quick games, moments, whatever. Grind those stars. So, not only are you making stubs, you're getting your XP up and getting new diamonds. Getting packs from the XP reward. Getting all that stuff. Getting free golds. So, you're making stubs. You're earning XP fast. And honestly, bro, the most effective way to make stubs is this way. The silver method, especially if you don't have that many stubs. And once you get to 10k, 20, 10 to 20k... I recommend start doing these right here because these are they're a little slower pace right here Frank Thomas perfect example you make over a thousand stubs after reduction I highly recommend this method guys sorry for my botch math problems guys if you're new drop the sub it's worth it bro 
Drop the like. Do all that good stuff. Your boy Bugs is out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Hey, yo,